Yo, what's up everybody? How is it going? Today we are playing 7.33b Talents Times 10 Balanced, which is made by this person. Good job and thank you for making this mode. And this is all fairly straightforward. It's just a Talents Times 10 mode. And honestly, it ended up being way more fun than I thought it was gonna be. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Also, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video on the new YouTube channel Stories of Dota, the Putsch documentary thing. Uh, if you haven't yet, you know, watched it, please watch it, that would be great. There's a link in the description. Anyway, let's get into the game. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start out with some tiny, Tony, tiny, Tony. Grab myself some stuff, make my way into a lane bottom, why not? So, what do we have? 200 movement speed or 100 strength? 800 avalanche damage or 30% status resistance. Toss requires no target or 400% crow bonus damage with tree. That actually seems kind of filthy. That's that's a lot. And then 20 toss charges or minus 14 seconds avalanche cooldown. Now here's of course the question, the big question. What's the cooldown of avalanche? That's right, it's 14 seconds. Look at that. Okay, avalanche spam, no problem. Gale sells an Evalance, upgrade it into nothing because it doesn't upgrade anymore. And then, um, oh, this, is, this makes me so sad. Like, poor Evalance. Poor Evalance. It just doesn't upgrade anymore. Big oof. Big oof. But that's okay. We'll just go ahead and uh, get myself that, that, that Avalanche and just use that. Hello. Oh, big swing. Oh, no. Well, I mean, like, this is probably okay, right? Like, I mean, we've got the troll here. Oh, this is not okay. But we've got Doom now? Still not okay. It's just not gonna work out for us. But I do have boots. No! Alright. Maybe the Doom can, can get a bit of a retaliation, though. Nope. Alright, never mind. Let's just make it into the bottom lane. Honestly... We just need to get ourselves some levels, right? I mean, obviously, the uh, the level 10 here is a little bit crucial. So we want to just make sure we get there as quickly as possible. And uh, we already actually weirdly have a head start, because today we're busy killing me and then being chased around, so I got a little bit of time in the lane by myself. <laughs> and ultimately, that actually goes a really long way. Hey, get a kill. Very good. Yeah, who cares about who cares about dying at level one if we can get a immediate retaliation like this? That might actually have put us at an advantage. Isn't that crazy? Alright. Take like you down. So I do think I, I level up Avalanche, right? Just kind of like go for the damage. We could try to be a right click tiny. Because grow. Uh, we get, uh, how much bonus damage? 170, right? And then with the tree bonus building, no bonus damage, this is normally 0%? Is that right? Then it can get plus 400 percent I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, but ultimately I think attacking is probably just the worst option compared to being an impossibly to, impossible to deal with caster. Hello, beer. How about this? Oh no! No, what? Towers have fury swipes. Okay. Should have been aware of that. That's on me. Should should have should have kept that in mind. Oh well. Oh well, I didn't know the towers had fury swipes and lucky shot. And they attack pretty quickly. And I think they deal more damage. So towers are scary. Not incredibly insurmountably scary, I think. Just like a little scary. But uh, we do have to kind of keep that in mind. Yeah, look at them. Holy shit, okay. Oh my god. Alright, time to grow up, Tiny. Time to stop being a small little Tiny and become a, a big little Tiny. Yup. Nice. Level 6. I'll get a Hand of Midas. Because, I mean, level 25 is what it's all about. So we want to work our way there as quickly as possible. I currently am still recording this before I launched a new channel, right? Um, but it has now become possible to find the channel just because I've, you know, started linking it in places so I don't have to do it all tomorrow. I've just kind of like put it in place and people have been finding it. And it's annoying because I was gonna like 
I wanted to get excited about hitting 100 subs, like, on stream tomorrow. And now we're at 112. <laughs> and I'm like, on the one hand, I should be happy that people are clearly interested and are wanting to engage with this because they're actively seeking it out. But on the other hand, come on now, I wanted to have my 100 subs celebration. <laughs> I asked chat to unsubscribe, but they haven't done it. Coming in over here, and thank you. Ooh, what do we get? I don't think anything. Get an occult bracelet. Oh my god, I gotta be careful with this. Sorry, I don't know if you can tell, but my mouse, it has cat hair in it. So I just, I, I gotta get that up. There we go, okay. All right, it works again. <laughs> I've been like sneakily trying to fix that because the controls aren't playing along properly. But uh, I have now gotten the cat here out of the mouse. So we are fine. We have fixed the problem. So at level 10, what do we get? Do we get the movement speed or the strength? I think we gotta get the strength, right? Like, the movement speed is gonna be, like, better in the long run, I think. Nah, but we gotta get the strength. 100 strength, look at this. Oh. Big boy. Big tanky boy. So, you know, want to make sure that we've got this going on. Want to make sure that we are maximizing our potential there. I mean, we do hit really, really hard now. When does Agadim Shard come online in this? Oh my god, 15 minutes. Alright. No Shard for us for a while. I'm not even sure this game is going to last 15 minutes, but that's okay. I guess we're just not going to use Tree Grab that much. Hello! Up you go and hit him. Nice. Not a problem. So, Batrider, what do you have? Sticky Napalm Radius. Oh god, it's very big. And you? Scorched Earth damage in like a lot of it. 150. Alright, take this down. Thank you very much. Level up our grow some more. We are just very, very tanky now. And uh, I'm gonna buy... What? what am I actually buying? It's a good question. Oh no. I want to blink in on this, but I don't know if I can. There we go. Alright, time to leave. No! No, it's a spookta. She got plus 50 all stats. That's actually pretty scary, plus 50 all stats. What did you get? 250% X marks the spot movement speed. Alright, so that's not that impressive then, is it? Yeah, I don't think I can kill her. I'm probably just dead. Yeah, oh well. Worth trying at least. So, just get a heart? I'm not really gonna need cooldown reduction. Maybe I should get an Octarine just like temporarily? No, I think I'm getting an Aoife Lens. Because I feel bad that it doesn't upgrade anymore. But also because I want to cast my Avalanche from further away. Avalanche actually doesn't have that long a cast range. So if I can throw it in from just a tad little bit further away, I can see that being quite useful. Hello. Hmm. You've got 120 strength. What? No way. You've got more strength than me. <laughs> That's so sad. Oh, everybody push F for Tiny. We don't get the most strength from our talent. That's sad. I was actually... I... Oh, I was kind of... Excited for that. I'm gonna be such a strong little boy here. But I guess not today. Not today. Alright, let's blink over here. Wanna get ourselves some boots so we can scoot around the map a little bit quicker. Good news is that our damage output is just excellent. I mean, it's not a big surprise. Plus 800 avalanche damage. Thank you very much. So this is now 1,100 damage, which is quite a lot, because not a lot of heroes actually have, like, stat-based talents anymore. A lot of heroes have just ability-based ones. So, um, 1,100 damage is gonna hurt. And especially since Avalanche will do damage multiple times if I toss somebody during it, right? Ooh, that did 50% damage to this guy. This guy has 4,000 HP. So, yeah, pretty happy about that. Okay, 
Um, at level 20, toss requires no target or 400% grow bonus damage? I think we get the 400% grow bonus damage, right? That gotta be it. Oh, that's annoying. I'm disarmed. Okay. Hello. I am Warlock, and I enchant you to leave a like on the video. Thank you very much. Yeah, one more. Come on. No! <laughs> Oh, the struggle is real. It's a very unfortunate struggle, but it goes how it goes. And of Midas you. Let's let's see what we can get. I'll just pick up a van brace. We could in theory have gotten more cast range there, but we already got cast range. It's fine. We don't need we don't need more than that. Some of those things were like a little bit more is handy, but we don't want to overshoot it either. Because past a certain point, it, it doesn't really help that much. It's actually cast range is funny. It's similar to attack range, right? We're like, a little bit of attack range is really nice to have. If you can have like 100 or 200 extra attack range, that goes a really, really long way. But once you go past that, like, Sniper has, like, up to, what, 600 extra attack range? It's actually hard to use all of that, right? Like, it's not that easy to use the full attack range of Sniper. And once you go past that, you get a thousand extra attack range, it starts being almost inconsequential. The difference there doesn't really matter that much. But you go past that and you start saying, okay, well, we have 2,000 attack range. All of the sudden, it changes completely. You're like, oh my god, that's overpowered as hell. <laughs> It's a bit of a, a curve. Is it like... Is it just a bell curve? What do you call an inverted bell curve? Is that still a bell curve? I actually don't know. Nah. I guess that's more language. I think an inverted bell curve is still just a bell curve, right? So, uh... You know. Pick this up. Ooh, there's a bat who rides. Oh, I'm coming. Sorry, buddy. Oh my god. <laughs> you just did so much. Oh well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hit you. That does a lot of damage. But it's fine, we got. Ah, I see. Somebody doesn't have a cooldown anymore. Well now that's illegal. Alright. Take him down, triple kill, very good. Yeah, I don't know if I can help you out there. Ooh, this might be a problem. Hmm. Gonna need somewhere to throw you. Because I don't really want to fight that spookta. Want to stay away from that. Okay, next up. I'm gonna get a bloodstone, because I'm gonna need mana. And Bloodstone is really good at giving mana. So let's just make sure that we have all of the mana we could ever use. And 400% damage. Ooh, nice. <laughs> we do a little bit of damage now. I mean, we need a tree, of course, but... Uh, that's still really good. Yep. Alright, let's, let's find a tower to attack, maybe. Just something to swing a tree against. Alright, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> no, why are you attacking me again? They were, like, perfectly good creeps there. Use those instead. Alright. No creeps for us, I guess. There's the Legion Commander. Unfortunately, I don't have a tree right now. But, like, I feel like I can still do this. Yeah. Avalanche just does way too much damage. Way, way too much damage. There's a Bat Rider. Doom is chasing the Bat. Alright, throw this. Never mind, you already got it. Okay, attack. Haha! <laughs> Fear me! <laughs> Look at how much damage I do! You better be careful! You better be careful! 
All right, there's a hit. There's a hit. There's a hit. Throw a doom, I guess. Yeah, we definitely threw a doom. Oh no, there's a legion commander now. <gasps> oh, it doesn't have a cooldown. Okay, I see. <laughs> The overwhelming odd spam during the duel. That is very funny. I I I do like that. That 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 is that is great. Let's consume an agonims. That way we can throw some trees, which should be particularly exciting with our grow bonus damage, right? Oh, and actually the agonim shard is coming online soon. Yeah, that sounds good too. Got some fun stuff coming up. Of course, uh, level 25 is the highest priority. Okay. No crits. I'm spellcaster tiny. That's what I do, man. I don't... I don't fight people. Ooh. You know what? Let's get, let's get this. This one doesn't reduce my mana, so I think it's a bit easier to justify. Right, I know I went on a whole spiel earlier about how how we don't necessarily need more cast range. And we don't. But the problem with the other thing as well was that, you know, it doesn't actually uh, like help our mana pool. In fact, it lowers it. And that makes it just a bit tricky because we do need mana. Mana is important for us. So... Aghanim's shard is coming up in 10 seconds. We'll grab it immediately. I can also start throwing trees at things now. Assuming I find somebody to throw trees at. But as soon as we do, we'll be fine. And we can push. No, just tank. Oh, no. Okay. Well. Which one is real? This one? This one. Yeah. Throw some trees? Let's throw some trees. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> nice. There's a bat. Yeah, I don't know if I can do anything about the bat, to be honest. Yeah. Got a few stacks of shadow poison, but, like, this is actually still manageable. I'm so close! Come on, I just need I just need a tiny bit of tiny bit of experience here. Almost level 25. Sanjin Kaya. Nah, we won't need damage. We won't need no damage. It'll be fine. Just level 25. That's all we need. Although Sanjin Kaya would be good for mana too, right? It helps a bit with that, that's for sure. Alright, minus 14 seconds cooldown. Yes! <laughs> Very good. Now I just need to find somebody to bully. Oh, what a hex! Oh, okay. I got hexed again? She's got a hex? You don't? But you got a hex too. Nah. It's a problem with a stun that has a travel time. Hex doesn't have a travel time, so I threw out my stun first, but I still got hexed afterwards. Wow! <laughs> Look at that. Huge movement speed, huge armor, huge attack speed. Just unnecessary attack speed. But this is, a, this is kind of the unfortunate thing, right? At level 25, Troll just actually doesn't get anything. Like, both those talents can't really be multiplied. Doom gets plus 21% Infernal Blade damage. Bloodseeker... Bloodseeker is gonna be sipping. Sipping. Or have a lot of rupture. And you, what do you get? Minus 20 seconds Tidebringer cooldown or Ghost Ship Fleet? That... Nah, I don't think it's gonna spawn 30 Ghost Ships. That would be very funny, though. Okay, so we don't need this anymore. I think I just get a Lincolns. Yeah. Hmm. Worth trying. I wanted to help out. Yeah, the Lincolns is just so I am not gonna get hexed again. 
It also gives a bit of mana, which shouldn't be too bad. <clears throat> E-Blade Dagon. Spectre over here. Got him. <laughs> Where is that bat? Got him. No! BKB! It doesn't even help! It doesn't even help anymore! <laughs> oh, that is funny. Oh shit, Spectre has 50% dispersion. Oh my god. Well, um, hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be a problem, isn't it? Alright, we're coming in. Got this dude. Yeah, my mana is gonna be running low. Like, very low. As in, not really low, I'm just gonna be out of mana. So I don't, I don't really know what we're gonna do about that. Maybe I don't need cast range, actually. But there isn't going to be anything that really properly just fixes my mana issues. Troll can punch through her with ultimate. I kind of doubt that the troll can do enough damage. Alright. I'm trying to... I'm really trying. I, I, I did not do... I did not do any damage to her. That's a problem. Hmm. So Spectre is just unkillable. I think it's gonna come down to backdooring. Good news, we do a lot of tower damage. Bad news, our item build is complete nonsense for that. I mean, we could just swap it out. We do still have some other talents coming up that should be useful. This is some extra mana. I'll go for that. <laughs> Alright, we're back to full mana. Yeah, we need to actually deal damage for the Bloodstone to restore mana to uh, mana for us. But, you know, while we do that, it, it certainly restores mana. Goodbye. We just kind of throw rocks at people. Should be a kill. Yup. Now, as for the Spectre, I think my plan is to just let the Konka deal with her. That's fine. I'm just gonna pre I'm just gonna pretend she's not an issue. I'll make it somebody else's problem. Thanks for the mana. <laughs> Oh, I'm silenced. That's rude. And you can't use this to perch anymore. Honestly, I think that's kind of sad. I like that the Stormcrafter gave you that tiny self-cyclone. I'm assuming it got removed because it was overpowered. I mean, I don't think that one got removed because it wasn't interesting. This new ability is not more interesting. Yes! I'm Avalanche Man! I'm dead. Oh no. Hey, this random bro. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime, my friend. Appreciate it. Whew. Alright, we get rid of this. We get rid of this. I think I get an Assault Cross. And there's one Moon Shard. Do I, I just buy another Moon Shard, right? Like, I just get two Moon Shards. And I just try to push with that. Because we should be able to just clear out a building. We should be able to clear out the entire base if I get in there. Because our base damage is just extremely high. Your middle tower is under attack. Come here. Thank you. Up we go. Yeah, our attack speed is pretty quick now. I mean, it's still kind of low. 254 isn't that high, but 
Four tiny, that's that's quite a lot. <laughs> Four tiny, that is quite a lot. Not happening, that's fine, but we can come in. Come on! Ah pain. Oh I got disarmed again. Alright, we got it. Good. We're in the base. Hit him? Just hit him? No! <laughs> Throw a tree! No! Uh, it's not too bad. I mean, we did we did get in there, so at least the top lane is going to be pushed out now. Yeah, Legion Commander died. The problem is just we need to actually kill the Spectre, right? Killing Legion Commander isn't hard or particularly valuable. But while the Spectre is around, we can't really do AoE damage because she'll just run into it and then we die. Because she has, what, 70% damage reflection at this point? Oops. Should be around 70%, yeah. Ooh, maybe we can check here. Yeah, 50% from that. But is it 20% default? I think it's 20% default, right? Goes up to 20%. 8, 12, 16, 20. Oh, man. Dota has a lot of numbers to memorize, isn't it? Can't even imagine what it would be like to, like, have to learn all of it at once. You know, I just kind of, like, figured it out over a decade and a half. Oh, I'm old. A decade and a half of just paying a little bit of attention. That ain't real. Alright, there's another Hex. No. Ooh, do you have something that makes it, your illusions do more damage? No? Hmm. Oh, it's the Spectral Dagger? Oh, it doesn't have a cooldown and it does 800 bonus. Okay. So I, I see that's also a, a way she kills us. So we can't even really ignore her because she does enormous amounts of damage with the dagger. Damn, Spectre's just a god, I guess. Did you take the torment? That's cute. <laughs> Go show that cube who is boss. Hello. Pick up one of these. To be honest, I feel like the heart is worse than the Lincolns. So I'll get the Lincolns again. Hmm. How do we get into their base? Alright, Legion Commander down. Troll is certainly dead. There's a... Oh, no. That shouldn't be enough, though. Oh, that might be. Yeah, the cost range and the fact that it gives vision for additional costs. Alright, let's go back. Changes with every patch. Actually... Not everything changes with every patch. Uh, just today, I was I started working on the Lashrock video. And um, I was kind of like verifying that my list of changes that I use is correct. And I found something weird. I was like, wait, this doesn't seem right. Because it turns out that in the, in the entire history of Dota, according to my list of changes, the damage of... The, oh my god, the disarm. I can't backdoor. The damage of Le Shruck's Split Earth has never changed. What my patch, what my, what my notes said. I'm like, that can't be right. So we looked into it. And yeah, the last time Split Earth had its damage modified 
was in 6.70, which is before Dota 2. <laughs> Pretty significantly before Dota 2 as well. So, for some funky reason, that is just an ability where they nailed the damage early and they were just happy with it. Like, that. that's good. That's how much damage that should do. <laughs> that much and no less and no more. That's exactly right, just like this. <clears throat> oh, we're dead. Oh my god. Hmm. Hmm. Your middle tower has fallen. What do we do? I mean, we just need to backdoor. The annoying thing is they're not really pushing. They're just defending. But I feel like Spectre is just... Well, I guess they're pushing now. So that's good. Go ahead and push. Push, you cowards. But Spectre does seem a little bit like the perfect hero for this mode, right? Oh my god. Wait, is Torrent Storm just like unavoidable? Or so you just cannot win against her? Oh! But keeping her in a... No, get away, get away, you'll die. <laughs> Yum. All right, go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, all right. What is going on there? Batrider. Flame break applies 20 sticky napalm stacks. And you have 20 flame break charges. And each sticky napalm has plus 500 radius and plus 100 damage. Okay, well that th that's good. I'm glad you know like I'm just glad you're having a good time. Oh Dear Well, that's just a tad little bit absurd, so we do also just kind of die to the To the bat rider Okay, you know what screw this um, keeping the hex. I don't need this. I don't need this. I'm just gonna lean into it. <laughs> this is our plan. Do I even keep our game blink? Nah, screw that. Let's get let's get a tax speed blink. <laughs> We're never winning this without being a little bastard. It's just not happening. So let's just be little bastards. <clears throat> The only thing I need to do is get into their base, while my team is distracting them, ideally. Also, somehow my team managed to kill the Spectre. I mean, I'm guessing it's Doom, right? Doom has a lot of break. Okay, this doesn't break anymore. Wait, does Doom not have break anymore? Which, which part of Doom breaks? Talent? He's got a talent? Ah, Doom applies break. Ah, there we go. Look. Doom, I just know... Oh my god. <laughs> I just know that Doom has a break. But they keep moving around where it is. Yeah, first it was on the ultimate, then it was on the shard, then it was... On, well, actually, no. First it was on the ultimate, then it was on the agonims, then it was on the shard, then it was on the agonims again. I guess it's a talent now. You can't fault me for not knowing the, the, the exact details there. Okay, Kunka, you, can, you need to buy Invis. And then we sneak in. We need like the the Bloodseeker or something to like come in. And you just use Torrent Storm and stun them while I kill their base, okay? Cause I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I can just like one shot their buildings. Yeah, let me lean into that even more. This is this is the only way we get them. Okay, so Bloodseeker is somehow killing things. This has health damage, 90%. Ah, I understand now why. Okay, and with 20 charges, you just click it twice and then whatever you're attacking is dead. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. 
Do I understand this right? That you guys are currently not near your base. <laughs> If I understand this correctly, no! Fuck! This is so. This is so stupid. This. This. Fucking bullshit. All right. Oh come on! All right. At least Glyph was used, so we got something out of him. We got something out of him. Lots of buybacks too. Yeah, so the rupture damage, that will just kill something, right? The Spectre will just drop dead. You know what's especially wild here? This was actually an all random lobby. And look at how good the heroes are. That's crazy. I mean, it might just be the case that pretty much every hero in Times 10 Talons is really good now. Or maybe it's just a very silly lobby. Get Manta. Yeah, maybe I should get like some sort of dispel, you're right. But I don't know what to get rid of. Maybe I don't need Silver Edge. The problem is that Manta actually... No, Manta's bad. Manta bad. Because, because, Manta doesn't give us the tree. And that makes it, I think, just not a really useful option. Hey, didn't you guys just buy back? Is it off cooldown already? Did we get into their base? No. Oh. Look at them, they're so scared. They are so scared. You can dispel the tree. No, no, no. It's just that, like, my illusion won't have the tree. Oh, my. Well, now that was a next level ultimate right there, I have to say. I mean, that was... That was... Impressive. <clears throat> so... Frost attack on this guy. 35 minutes. <laughs> it's a long game. It's a long game. Buybacks are a problem. Do people... Can you guys just buy back endlessly? It seems like it. That is not a setting I enabled. Like, buyback is supposed to have a... Oh my god! This mod does have alternate buyback rules. You get 50 buybacks <laughs> with a 30 second cooldown. <laughs> Why? <laughs> this is just this is this is real Dota. This is a Dota the way Richard Garfield intended it. Literally just buying back endlessly. All right, pick up a bounty rune. Thank you. I really don't like how this new map limits your vision. Can I just say that? I don't know. I just find it like... Makes me feel blind. You know? I was in this! I don't think this game is ever gonna end. I mean, I could buy back. <laughs> should we should I buy? I will, actually. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on. I just, I'm just going to do some damage. I literally do not care. It's fine. I, I'll, I'll count that as a win. Because that tower took like half HP damage now. That's fine. That's totally fine with me. I need to just do that like three more times. And this will be dead and this will be dead. And then I can take down the Ancient. 
If this is how we have to do it, then that's just how we're gonna have to do it. Wait! <laughs> do you almost have it? That's great. I appreciate that. Buyback? You want me to buy back now? No, you gotta be. You gotta be careful, friends. We gotta be strategic with this. Gotta think this through a little bit. Huh? Kill limit? Kill limit! 80 kills! Okay, we won! They have more kills than us! But we win! Who knows? <laughs> I don't... I, I, I'll take it! I think we deserve that. I think... I think that's clearly our victory. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that was actually quite a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. We we'll definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.